Hello, my name is Victoria and you are on my sewing channel. Today we are going to make a lace panties with adjustable straps on the sides. For this project I will take a gorgeous lace I bought at the same day when it appeared on the market and I bought 4 meters of it because it's so beautiful. I'm planning to make myself a bra from this lace and I will film tutorial for you the next weeks. But today we have a simple sewing project. I hope you will enjoy and let's go! For the beginning you need a lace. It can be elastic one or a lace that contains no elastan, like in my case. Then we will need a small piece of cotton jersey for a gusset. I will take a bigger elastic for this panties. My is 8 mm wide, it can be thinner, and fold over elastic can work as well. Then we will need a thin shoulder strap elastic. My is 1 cm wide. In addition, four rings and two sliders, the same width as your elastic. As usual, thin matching threads, number 120 or 150, and needles for stretching materials, number 65 or 75. And that's all what you need. You can use a sewing machine and a serger, or only a sewing machine. Now about pattern. If you sew in lingerie for a while, you definitely have a basic panty pattern. If you are new to this field, it's kind of must-have. On this base we can model any panties. You can build one, you definitely can find one for free, they are available on internet, or you can purchase one, it's pretty cheap. My pattern is made for stretchy materials, but it works well with inelastic lace. So we will start from the front piece. I want the lace edge be positioned from the top and I need to decide how open I want to have my front. I take a voluntary point on the top edge and I connect it with a straight line to the lower curve. I took the point 8.5 cm from the center for my S size, but the next time I would definitely take 10 cm. I like a little bit more closed fit. In the end of this video I will show you how it will look at the mannequin. Now a back piece. I will position lace uh, like this and again I choose how closed I want my tangas to be from the back. Now about seam allowances. From the top edge of my back part I need to give seam allowance equal to the width of my elastic. In my case it's uh, 8 mm. From the side I give no seam allowances because there will be lace edge and uh, for the central seam I give 7 mm to make an overlock stitch and my lower cut is 7 mm to attach the gusset piece. On the front piece I add 8 mm seam allowance to the side, there will go my elastic and 7 mm seam allowance to attach my gusset about gusset, 8 mm from the side for the elastic and 7 mm from the top and the bottom. Now we cut out our details. And here is some trick. I recommend to cut out your details on the ironing board. I can just pin my pattern to the board with pins vertically and nothing will shift. I cut out the first part of my back piece and now I need to find the lace reflection. I position one piece directly over my reflection, flower to flower. It's important because the symmetry depends on this step. And you should make small notch marks in the center of the upper and lower cut of the gusset and the lower cut of the front piece. Like this it would be easier to collect all details. When we have cut out all the details, we start assembling the back. Position your pieces right side to the right side, connecting pattern on the lace. I recommend to make a hand stitch to avoid any type of shifting. Now we have two options. We can use a serger to overlock the seam and make a straight stitch to fix our seam allowance from one side. Or we can use only a sewing machine. I failed to make an accurate stitch on my serger, so I'm going to do the second method. I make a straight stitch on my sewing machine, then I press my seam allowance to one side with an iron, and then I make another straight stitch from the right side of the garment, 
one millimeter from the first stitch. If you noticed, I slightly stretch my lace in the opposite sides. It helps me to have better control over stitch and I see clearer my central stitch. And don't forget about back stitching at the beginning and the end. So we attached our seam allowance to one side and now we can trim the excess. And look, actually everything looks very clean and beautiful even without a serger. The next step. I need to attach two gusset pieces to my front detail. I pin my lace gusset to the front piece, right side to the right side. And now I flipped over these details, so the front detail faces us. I cover it with my cotton gusset right side of this gusset to the wrong side of the front detail. I recommend to hand stitch this too. So now when I unfold these details, I have a closed front seam. Here I will use a serger to process this edge, but if you have a lace that is not as transparent as mine, you can use only a straight stitch on your sewing machine. I recommend you not to skip ironing. Make your seam flat, then position seam allowance to one side, and then press your seam in the final position. Use cloth in between not to burn your lace. Now we need to attach our back side. Here you need to pay some attention. Attach back piece to the lace gusset right side to the right side. You can pin or hand stitch. Unfold your panties like I show you. Roll the front and the back panel to the center. Connect right side of the cotton gusset to the wrong side of the back piece, like this. Make a hand stitch to connect all the layers and then overlock the edge. Now when we turn out our construction, we will have a beautiful closed seam. It is time for elastics. We need to attach our elastics with a zigzag to the front piece and the gusset. Usually we make our elastic 10% uh, shorter than our edge, but I just will make elastic shorter for a front piece for 1 cm and for a gusset for 5 mm or even without any stretch. Here you can see the seam allowance on the gusset. After we attach our elastic there and fold our elastic to the wrong side, our back piece becomes a prolonging of the gusset. Leave 3-4 cm tails from the beginning and the end. To the upper tail we will uh, connect ring in the end and uh, the lower one we will trim later. I pinned my elastic in 3-4 points and now we need to make a zigzag stitch close to the decorative loops. The adjustments I like to use uh, for a zigzag stitch are 2 per 3.5 or 1.5 per 3. Make a back stitch at the beginning, stretch your edge a little bit so elastic become the same length as your cut. Stitch close to the edge and then make a back stitch in the end. Trim everything that looks from below the elastic. You can even trim close to the zigzag stitch. After this I fold over my elastic to the wrong side and make another zigzag stitch close to the edge. And this how it looks in the end. Now we need to make a small zigzag at the end of our gusset, like this. And then I trim my elastic close to this the zigzag. We are doing the same procedure from the top edge of the back piece. There I make my elastic simply 10% shorter and I leave 3-4 cm tails to attach my rings later. And just a little bit left. 
pull our elastic through the rings and now we have two options. We can make a zigzag or a straight stitch close to the ring and trim the rest or we can make a more beautiful finish and we can hide our edge like this and then to make a stitch. Your choice. On the sleeves I show you both options. Okay, enough about our strap elastics. To measure how long I need to cut my strap elastics, I need to measure my hips on the height where my uh, panties sit usually. Then I need to decrease the length of our front panel from ring to the ring and the back panel. Divide this number by two and here you go. Add another 3-4 cm for seam allowances. You do not need to add another few centimeters for a loop, because our cuts are stretchable and our strap elastic has some stretchability as well, uh, so this loop will be created automatically. Now we need to attach our sliders to one side of the straps. I create a loop, I make a straight stitch, you can make a zigzag as well, and here is some trick actually how to make a straight stitch accurately. I start to make the stitch from the center of my elastic. I go backwards, then I go all the way through, straight, and then go another time backwards and stop at the point where I started. Like this it does not create loops from the backside and it looks more accurate. Trim the excess close to the stitch. Now I just pull a free edge of my strap through the ring at the front, then through the slider, like this. And then uh, the only thing that, that is left is to attach the end of the strap to the ring on the back. I pull it through, make a straight stitch close to the ring and trim the axis. And that's all, the lace tangas are ready. And this is how it looks on the mannequin. You can check my channel for another lingerie tutorials. I'm very grateful for your likes and your comments, it motivates me. And I see you in the next video, bye!